Good morning, brothers and sisters in Christ. Welcome back to Esther's Song of Praise. I hope that all of you are having a wonderful Wednesday morning. This psalm that we're going to read, Psalm 20, similarly to others, you know, it really speaks to me. And the verse that sticks out the most is that some trust in chariots and some in horses. It's verse 7 but we trust in the name of the Lord, our God. And there's been so many things that have occurred in the world that we know that we're not of this world and that we can stand firm on the name of the Lord, on who he is, on his character, on his strength to carry us through. And I'm so grateful for that because as a human being, we're fragile. And, you know, some days I may come to you with a heavy heart, but know that I can cast all those burdens down at the Lord's feet and know that he cares for us. But that doesn't mean that we're not still affected by the things that go on in the world. And so... Brothers and sisters, if you have a heavy heart this morning, if you're going through trials, tribulations, if you are just, you know, sad, right? That's a human emotion. (laughs) Know that you can take all those cares and worries and struggles to the Lord and know that he cares for you and that we can choose to praise him in the midst of our trials by fire, in the midst of our sadness, similarly to King David. With that being said, if you're new here, welcome. And we're going to continue on the book of Psalms, chapter 20. I'm going to open with a brief prayer. And then we'll get into his word. Heavenly Father, we come to you, Lord God, humbly before your throne asking that you would touch the hearts and lives of every single person who may be hurting. Lord God, all the families out there who have lost a child, all those who are in pain, anyone, Lord, that is just has an ache in their heart, Father, that only you know. Lord God, we ask that you would just encourage them and wrap them up in your love, Lord. Let them know that they can come to you in prayer that they can cast down every single care and every single burden and to know that you do care for us, that you do love us, that you do hear us when we pray. Father God, we ask, Lord, that you would bless your word today, Lord God. We ask that it would produce fruit in our lives that will honor you, Lord God, that will show the love of Christ to a lost and dying world. Father, we ask that you would continuously Help us to be salt and light to this world, Father, that we can be a vessel shaped by you that will pour out love, Lord, and blessings and kindness from our tongues, Father. We thank you, Lord. We ask that you will bless our work this morning, Lord, that we will be productive and that we will do all things not for the approval of man, but to honor you, Lord God, with our gifts and our talents and our abilities to come directly from heaven, Father. We can do all these things in the midst of having a, a sadness or being having a heavy heart, Lord God, being, being someone who can worship you in the midst of whatever we may be going through, Lord. And we just thank you, Father, for the choices that you've provided for us, Lord, that we have free will, Father, as as our example, as one that we have in the Bible, because we have so many. But King David, Lord, he chose to praise you in the midst of his storms. And we can do the same. We thank you and we praise your holy, holy name, Lord God, for you are worthy You are worthy of honor and praise and glory. Lord, we thank you this morning in Jesus' name. Amen. The Book of Psalms, Chapter 20. For the Director of Music, 
a psalm of David. May the Lord answer you when you are in distress. May the name of the God of Jacob protect you. May he send you help from the sanctuary and grant you support from Zion. May he remember all your sacrifices and accept your burnt offerings. May he give you the desires of your heart and make all your plans succeed. May we shout for joy over your victory and lift up our banners in the name of our God. May the Lord grant all your requests. Now this I know, the Lord gives victory to his anointed. He answers him from his heavenly sanctuary with the victorious power of his right hand. Some trust in chariots and some in horses, but we trust in the name of the Lord our God. They are brought to their knees and fall, but we rise up and stand firm. Lord, give victory to the king. Answer us when we call. May the Lord bless the reading of his word today. A few of my favorite verses in this chapter start with verse 4 through 7. So let's go back a little bit. May he give you the desire of your heart and make all your plans succeed. It reminds me of the scripture that says, if we desire in the Lord, that he will give us the desires of our heart. If we delight, I'm sorry. (laughs) I'm paraphrasing off the top of my head this morning and I haven't had any coffee yet. (laughs) Um, But we're supposed to delight in the Lord and know that he will give us the desires of our heart. And it's the same here, right, in Psalm 20, where King David is saying that may he give us the desires of our heart, make all of our plans succeed. And that's what the Lord wants for us, right? Like he wants us to have a good life. He wants us to, you know, be surrounded with love and joy and laughter. And a lot of those things are a result of (laughs) coming out victorious from our trials and tribulations and the adversaries that we overcome. So King David says here in verse five, may we shout for joy over your victory and lift up our banners in the name of our God, which only happens when we're tested, right? Again, he repeats, may the Lord grant all your requests, which is just a blessing that we can even go to such an infinite God with our requests and ask you know, for him to bless us. And he does. And then verse six says, you know, and now this, I know the Lord gives victory to his anointed. So he found that out from being tested, right? We can only gain victory in a testimony after we have overcome the test that he answers him from his heavenly sanctuary with the victorious power of his right hand. This is a verse that I Quote to myself often. It was a song that I remember singing way back in choir when I was younger. But it says, you know, the some trust in chariots and some in horses, but we trust in the name of the Lord our God. Meaning that, you know, when he was fighting Goliath, right? And the Israeli army wanted to put on all this heavy armor on him and they wanted to give him this big long sword. <laughs> and a horse and just all these things um, that they used that they thought would protect him. And David says, I don't need any of it. I don't need any of the man-made armor. I have faith in God. I just have my one single slingshot and my one smooth stone. And with that, you know, he prayed the prayer of faith. And then of course he followed through, right? Because we know faith without works is dead. So he slung that slingshot and slayed Goliath without any kind of man-made armor or anything to boggle him down. He didn't put his trust in chariots. He did not put his trust in horses, but he says, we trust in the name of the Lord, our God. And brothers and sisters, that's what I want for you as well. And myself, it's something that I'm praying that the Lord reminds me not to put my money in or not to put my trust in money Um, you know, other people, even though other people, of course, are great and wonderful. We're all flawed. We're human beings. 
not to put my trust in anything else but the name of the Lord our God. And with that, I will leave you. Blessings to all of you. May you have a wonderful Wednesday. And should the Lord tarry, I'll come with you tomorrow morning with another scripture. Have a wonderful day, brothers and sisters. Please be sure to like, share, and subscribe if you haven't done so already. And I will talk with you later. Take care. Bye.